Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial. Okay, in this video, we'll be talking about the feasible rows. Okay, that is the flexible single master operation rows. Okay, they are basically five. Okay, and um, they are namely first one is the schema master. Okay, operation rows, and um, the second one is the domain name master. Those two, they are the first five rows. Okay, they manage your entire forest. Okay so they are held by the domain controller right here okay and we're going to see how we work with that and the remaining three the second one the third one is the rid okay a uh, master that is relative identifier which is used to identify the ad object in the domain and the next one is the pdc emulator which synchronizes time time and um other okay synchronization needed by the clients and the server in the domain and lastly lastly okay the Infrastructure master helps in uh, updating the domains, okay, um, domain names and namespace of the of the forest or of a domain. Okay, so those last three that is the RID master, the PDC emulator, and the infrastructure master are the domain wide. They are unique for each domain. So to see the ones unique for each domain, okay, you go to the users and computers, AD users and computers right here. And when you right click on the ad users of computers okay you're gonna see here we have change domain this is not where you go to you right click on the domain itself and then you're gonna see the operation masters okay these are the operation masters for each domain so for, for this particular domain which is vincent Lord of lab this is its um domain i mean um sorry domain rows okay this is a domain based role okay where we have the RID like you mentioned okay which manages the allocation of RID that's related by identifier okay pool and then the PDC emulator which is just which is just um, um part of the master emulators okay and it's um for synchronization okay and the infrastructure is also here so these three roles as you can see the server holding them is the what the DC one DC one DC1, DC1, meaning when a DC1 is down, it simply means that the RID server is down, the PDC is down, and the infrastructure master is down. Okay, you could ask that why that why do we need okay to manage these particular roles? Okay, we need to manage them because without a PDC, okay, the time synchronization on a domain network would not work perfectly, meaning the client's timing and the server time will be different. So, when you're trying to log on from your client machine to your do to your from your, to your client machine using your domain account, you'll be having errors, okay, issues, okay, because the PDC emulator or the PDC, okay, um, server is down. So we need to be able to move some of these rules to other servers in case this is down, okay, or in case um, we we basically are transferring this role, okay, we're going to transfer this role to the dc2 or any other server okay but the set not just any other server but the server must be an additional domain controller okay if you don't know about that additional domain controller please ensure you watch the addition watch the additional domain controller video okay also the infrastructure master is this server and this is the server so if we want to move this particular role how do we move it we want to move it to dc2 because i have a dc2 okay server which is just an additional domain controller so to move it you right click okay on the domain name and then you go for change domain controller all right and ensure you select dc2 why dc2 is showing here is because it's an additional domain controller okay so when i select this i'll go for okay okay and then after doing that right click on this again go for operation masters now you can see guys here we have dc2 and we have dc1 so if i want to move to the next server i can just basically go for change and then i say yes i want to move and then go for okay to dc2 so if i want to move it back to DC1, I'm going to change the main controller back to DC1 and then move it back to DC1. But now it's DC2 that's holding it. This PDC emulator is still being held by DC1. How do we move it? Just go to change. Let's say we want to move all the domain wide roads to the DC2. And the infrastructure master as well, I want to move it to DC2 as well. I'm going to move it to DC2. Okay, guys, so that's how you move the FISMO roads. That is called the domain wide roads. Okay, now how do we tamper with the first wide rows that for the schema master which is the first one you go to the 
MMC, okay? And before you can work on that, you need to register your schema by using the reg SVR, okay? Schema, that is the schema, okay? Management, okay? The DLL, DLO, okay? And the reg SVR, you need to add it to, so you need to run this, okay? Yeah. And you need to get a success message now. It's saying that what the DLL register server is uh, in schema management or DLL resources so there. That is what we want. So we'll go for that. And then you go to the MMC, okay? We run that, and now you go to action. So we file, add remove snapping, and uh, you're gonna see here we have uh, active variable schema without running that. You're not gonna see this, so ensure you run it. So I'm gonna go for okay. Now this is my schema, okay, which basically keeps the configuration of a forest, of a domain forest, okay. The schema configuration, the partition configuration, everything is kept here. Now when I go for operation master, you realize that what DC1 is holding it, and it's online. If you want to move this, you don't just move this anyhow, please take note of this, okay. You ensure, you ensure that your domain controller is always having this, okay. When you want to transfer it, okay, you want to take it to another server, you can go ahead and what right click change um where is it yeah change active directory domain controller and then you go for this to okay now you go for okay and then now when you go to operation masters you realize that dc1 is still holding but you can basically change to dc2 okay so when you click on change it will ask you are you sure you want to perform this you're like yes now why I want to change this is you take note of this. When you change this particular rule, when you move it to DC2, okay, and also you move the second one, which is the domain name master to DC2, DC2 becomes the main domain controller of your domain and the entire forest. Take note of that. So any domain controller holding these particular roles, these two roles, that is the Schema master and domain name master becomes the boss of the forest of your domain. Okay, so when I move it, yes, I want to move it. Operations are still there or transferred successfully. Okay, so now it's DC2. That is my schema master. That is for that. Now, how do I move the domain name master? You go to tools, okay, and then um, you go to domains and trust, okay. So this is the domains and trust, okay. Domains and trust, when we right click on this and go for, don't right click on this, right click on this, okay, and go for operation master, you realize that we have our domain naming master, operation master, which is held by what DC1. To change this, you need to make sure DC2 exists here, and then right click, you go to change domain controller, select DC2, and then you right click again, operation master. Now you can move or transfer this particular role to DC2. Now, when you do this, which is the last row, you are making DC to your domain controller. Okay, these are how you do it graphically, which this can also be done in the command line. Okay, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer all these rows to DC2, which is in the graphical interface, and then we're going to make this server, this is the DC1, back. We're going to turn it back, okay, to the main domain controller by transferring it from DC2 to DC1. I'm just playing with this for you just to see how you can transfer your rows. From server to server, okay, and um, you go for change. You just want to change it. You say, Are you sure you want to move it to different computer? Yes, so see that now you can see it has been moved. All right, so guys, when you go to operation master, realize that it's DC2 now because it's an additional domain controller, we're able to move to it now. It's the main domain controller, DC1 now is the additional domain controller. So, guys, in the schema master. And it is the is the DC two our our domain wide rules okay which is the three they are all DC two so now when we switch to DC two what happens there let's go there guys now guys on DC two when I go to choose and then let's say users and computers you're going to realize that okay it's still loading up so let me wait for it yeah. When we right click on this to check the domain wide rules operation master you realize that is dc2 that is holding it and it can be chained back to dc1 we can be we can do this for the three rows 
and then also to check the domain naming master role you can go to domains last when you right click on this operation master sorry you're not raising the functional level sorry operation masters you realize that this is that is holding the domain naming what master rules for the whole forest and to check for the schema master you need to register your schema okay just once okay and gmt dot dla all right after registering that you go to mmc okay so right here we're gonna have the snapping of um we're gonna add the snapping of um, the schema which is right here and we're gonna use it now right click on this and go for operation master you realize that dc2 that's holding it guys so you know you now know how to use the graphical user interface to transfer your what fismo rows okay you can read more on fismo rows using um, wikipedia okay to know about it if you don't really know about it okay now of course already by now you should know about it you should just be uh, be here to, to be able to configure it okay now how do we do this work using the command line so guys how do we use the command line to do this so let's say we want to, we want to transfer back the rows to dc1 okay so we're going to use um the command line to do that okay we're going to see how to use the command line to do that using the ntds util tool okay so i'm going to go for cmd okay and then run it as an administrator okay okay guys here how do we do that just go to ntds util okay basically don't need to know much but you have to okay so when you go to comma and uh, question mark here you're going to see the things you can do all right so what we want to do now is work with rows okay which is right here manage entity as rows owner token so we're going to type rows okay what do we want to do next okay now you can see here guys we have connections we have see so the thing we want to do first is connect so we're going to type connections okay so connections okay after typing connections what do you do so we are connecting to the server we want to put the rows on so it says connect to domain okay connect to the dns domain here connect to server okay it's connect to the server we're going to type connect to server sorry it's connect to server dc1 connect to server dc1 guys i'm connected okay so i've just connected to server and it says connected so right now i want to transfer the rows what do i do so i'm just going to type transfer schema master because that's what i want to do but not here I'm basically going to go back okay to the feasible maintenance phase so right now the first thing we want to do now is you, see, you can see here we can transfer okay we have transfers and we have what c's now what is the difference a transfer here basically transfers the rows okay from one server to another that's one domain controller server to another domain controller server and the c is meaning it's taken off the row from or taken finally the row from a particular server okay so guys let's say dc one is down and it has all the rows okay we can basically use the c's here to seize all the rows from it if it's dc2 that's down which is the domain controller okay we can use dc1 with the sys command to seize the rows from what dc2 okay so right now basically what i want to do is mac i want to transfer the schema master back to dc1 okay so that's why i connected to dc1 so transfer schema master and it's asking me guys in my, in my graphical user interface that are you sure you want to transfer to dc1 you go like yes i want to transfer so guys has basically transferred that what else do i want to transfer i want to transfer the domain naming master so you basically type transfer domain naming master oh error as you can see basically you don't need to add a domain okay you just transfer naming master okay so it's asking me do i want to transfer this particular row to this you want to like yes i want to transfer and transfer that the next thing i want to transfer now guys is the 
domain wide rules okay i finished transferring the forest wide rules back to this to this one okay that's what i'm transferring to using the command line so i'm going to transfer transfer okay um rid if i don't know what is type or what i'm supposed to type i can use question mark okay so transfer firstly rid master okay it's called rid master so transfer that Zaxi me do i want to transfer it oh this question is so loose i know i want to transfer it go like yes i want to transfer okay yeah so it's just transfer that from this two to this one i want also transfer the the pdc emulator okay so pdc um yeah it's called pdc here so he's asking me do you want to transfer that really but I, yes i want to transfer it okay and it's transferring it for me command line is so easy sometimes you know when you i love it or when you like it okay so next thing i want to do now is transfer the infrastructure master which is right here at the top okay so transfer Structure. Oh my God. Structure master. Oh, it's asking me, do I want to transfer that? Okay. It's asking me, do I want to transfer that? I'll be like, oh yes, I want to transfer. All right. So now after doing that, guys, all I need to do is quit. I'm done transferring. Quit. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now after all this transfer, 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 when I check. The DC2, okay, for the schema master, we put in the schema master, operation master, you realize what? DC1 by. Okay, now, and that is the schema master here. And then when I check the domain name master, operation master, you realize what? DC1 has held it back. Okay, guys, that's how you transfer. And uh, the um, later, okay, the domain, I just, I opened this now, so let me close it and open it again. Okay, operation masters realize this one is holding everything back. Okay, so guys, that is how you do that. Okay, when we go to this one, let's go to go back to this one to see what we have there. Okay, right now, guys, on this one, okay, still showing this because it's open. Let me close it and open it again from here. Operation masters realize this one is holding back. So that's how you transfer the rules that is for the domain wide rules for the for the forest wide rules this is the schema master operation master you realize this one is held it back okay so we transferred it to this using the graphical user interface okay and um we transferred it back using the command line so i basically show you the two two ways so that's how you do it guys and that's how when you season guys let's check this one very before we continue talking so operation master you see this one is holding the holding the domain central as well so guys when you need to seize you have to use the command line okay so the way we transfer the rows from dc2 back to dc1 okay that is how you have to seize so if let's say dc2 is down and dc2 is holding the rows okay i can basically turn up this command line right here and connect to dc2 using my ntds uto commands and then seize the rows this time around we don't use transfer but we use what the seize command to see and i don't basically have to show you that that is just simple it is the same procedure so guys that is it i believe you enjoyed the video if you like the video please like it physically liking the button and um subscribe okay so i can know you and please comment so that i can know you quickly yes <laughs> okay guys so that is it okay i believe you enjoyed the video so take care and subscribe 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 bye thank you